What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Start off with my dog Zeke in the video, but today's very exciting. Just got home from work, got some packages in the mail, and let's check these out and see what we got. So, we do have an Android tablet, which I've already had, it's from a TV I own, but you have to have this, you have to have an Android product to run this app that I'm gonna use in this video. So, we have here the OB2, the OBD Link MX Plus, and then we have another special item here for 2018. So I'm looking at doing some of these mods for my truck, like setting mileage, um, adjusting your temperature or your air pressure for your truck. I know some 2500s you have problems if you're trying to haul or not tow and you don't want to run so much air pressure in it and you want to turn that light off. So with this, these options right here, you can do it. So all you need is an Android tablet, phone, anything that has an app, computer, anything like that. So I have a tablet, so we're gonna use that. You can pick up the OBD, OBD link from, I'll put the link in the description below. You can use the plus or not, it doesn't matter. I just got the plus because it has a Bluetooth capability. So got that. And this right here is the harness I picked up. I think it's 50 bucks, just came in. That opened up for you. So what it is is the 2018 and the 19 Classic. They have changed the OBD. You have to have, this is a bypass harness is what it is. So I'll show you how to put this in. This will take the existing place, the one that's in there. And we'll probably leave it plugged up for now. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it plugged up with the tuner or not, but as you can see here, I got this from KOAD Tech. So however you wanna say that, I don't know if they abbreviate the letters or if they say it as one word, but I'm not gonna butcher it. So that was 50 bucks to a couple days to get here. So started researching this. You can use this from a, a 13 and up Ram. And they do other Chrysler products like Jeeps, uh, Chrysler. I know the Ram is a big deal because like, like I mentioned in other videos, if you have a, you know, tradesman like I have, and you want some of the options like a limited or Laramie and stuff like that, you want to activate like, if you put different seats in it and you put air conditioned seats or heated seats and you want the button put on your dash, you can, you can activate all that with this. This will link to the BCM, the main computer of the truck. You can open up and unlock some of these features. Some features are like taking your stock remote and holding down the button and it'll roll down your windows. Um, you can't roll them back up with the Ram. Um, some trucks you can, but the 18, it's not available. But pretty cool if it's hot outside, you wanna roll down your windows. You can activate your factory alarm. Say you stick the key in it and somebody has a key to your truck and the alarm will go off. You can, the, the main reason why I bought this is I have like LED reverse lights. I haven't switched tail lights yet. I still run the soft ones, but I don't like the halogen, like yellow looking bulbs. So I switched everything to LED and you can you can change all those settings in your truck to this. So you go into different settings. I'll show you how to do that. Um, today, I'm probably just gonna show you how to install this bypass harness on 18 or 19, but you can go in, change those settings and tell it's got LED lights and you won't get none of those bulb error out, you know, the messages that come up on your dash. So that's the main reason why I bought this. There's some other cool features you can add. Um, I've still been researching a little bit of it, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to change on mine. But pretty cool. I mean, instead of going to a dealer and getting a pin, some of these features you do have to have your pin. You can call a dealership, tell them that you have, to, you have to prove that you're the owner of the truck, though. So you might have to go to the dealership, but I have a buddy that works at one, so I already know my pin because I already changed some settings from the dealer. So instead of hassling driving to a dealership or bothering somebody there and paying, I can do this myself. And... <laughs> He can't even change his TPMS light for his own truck working at the dealer, so I can do it with this. So we're gonna get started and I'll show you how to install this harness into the truck. It's relatively simple. It's a couple screws. You pull down the kick panel. This plugs in. It's got a couple plugs that go into existing space right above it. And that's pretty much it for this. Just to show you what it looks like before, but of course this is Bluetooth capable. So there's no wire. You don't have to plug it into a scanner. You don't have to plug it into a laptop. And this actually comes with a free app for your phone, even if it's Android or Apple, except for this Alpha OB2 is the app you will download. I think it's $50. If I can unlock this, I'll show you. So it's this Alpha OB, it's a little red car right there. So that's the app you will purchase and pay for. You can go to their website. I think it's www.alphaobd.com. They'll you know, you can choose whichever one you wanna buy. I just pay for the app, put it on here. So I got it. So it's basically everything you need, you know. Got the bypass harness for 18, got the OBD link, 
and I have the app, so that should be the only things you need. And you might need the pin, like mentioned, for upgrading some of these options. Some, some of them are password sensitive, so you have to have that pin. It's a four digit pin. It's not the recurring, the one that changes its five numbers. So it's the four digit pin. So just make sure you get that just in case you might need it for some of these options. So I'll probably make a couple different videos of this. So instead of just one, I'll probably just show a video of installing this. So if you have 19 or 19, you can still use it and go from there. So we're here in the truck. The only thing I did was get a light and I got a seven millimeter nut socket. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. So you have a bolt here to the left of your OBD. So I have an easy link tuner plugged in, but there's one over here. And then you'll pull this whole panel. It'll come straight out. It's got a couple clips and that'll be the first step of this. And we'll get those removed. Pull this panel apart for you and show you the next step. You can also use a Phillips. I just used a seven millimeter. Start at the bottom and pull it out, just like so. So then in here, you see you have your OBD2. It's just a couple clips here. You can push these in. Of course, I'm gonna unplug my Easy Link behind it. Push the clips in with your fingers. Maybe. Hmm, let me get a straight screwdriver. Right, so I got a straight screwdriver. I'm gonna put it on the inch side of this. Just push it in. There you go. Push it in. Just do one side at a time. And it should just pop right out. So, I'm just gonna leave the rest of it hooked up, but just like so. So, all you do is you take your new female, plug it into the male, make sure it's the right direction, like so. And then you follow this up inside here. You see the green power block. You're gonna plug the white end in into it. There should be an empty, right here, this power block. There should be an empty slot. Plug the white one into it. We'll get that plugged in. Alrighty guys, so we will show you what we did here. So there was a white plug, which is at the very top of this. It goes in the green selector, because all these plugs are white. And you flip it around here to the back side camera in here there's another harness with a green connector that goes in the back side of this block so all the factory ones are at the top i'll put this one down below it doesn't matter which one you plug it into but that's where it goes so i'm not even gonna put this kick panel back on because i'm not gonna leave this hooked up since i have my easy link but this is all you need to do to have the new bypass cable for your link so if you wanted to leave this on there it's perfectly fine you can it's not necessary, but I'm gonna be doing a bunch of changes here. So I don't wanna take this off and on several times to drive it or anything like that. So we're gonna make all our changes first. And then I'm gonna unhook this. You just remove the two clips, plug this back into your factory kick panel, and then I'll have the factory OB2 still remaining and easy to use. So we will end this with showing you how to use the bypass cable. So that's all that's needed. And if you've not been here before, subscribe. We're gonna have several more, I mean, a lot more videos coming up with this. We're gonna show you a lot of features that you can take and make changes on your truck. If you have a Ram 1500, 2500, 3500, it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, if it's 18 or 19, you will need this bypass cable. If you have a 13 to 17, it's not necessary. You won't need it. Your OB2, OBD2 pull, plug will work, so. That'll conclude this video. Thanks for stopping by. Check out the other videos coming soon.